weekend if you're planning a beach getaway for Memorial Day. Everyone's up in here. They want to be anyway. Well, All right. Not going, but yes. Memorial Day weekend, one of the most popular times to hit the beach. Yes, and that's why it is National Beach Safety Week. It's kicking off today. Wyatt Warneth from the American Lifeguard Association is joining us from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Thanks for being with us this morning. He Let's, raised his hand too, yeah, by the way. He raised his hand. Like, I feel like he's always at the beach, yeah. so it doesn't really count. Let's talk about going into the water. What are some tips for safe swimming at a beach different than a pool? Comes up a lot. You, what, what's happening? Is it, I feel like there's more rescues. Are we just hearing about them? I mean, there's a large percentage of rescues that you guys do that are related to rip current. People use the word undertow to you know, talk about a rip current. Does an undertow even exist? And what's the different terminology and what's happening with these two different words? Or current. You know, I found sometimes my kids right in front of me, I'm at the beach, and all of a sudden they're I look and, and the they're beach. down. Yeah, what about the longshore current and safety? Appreciate you coming on the show. And it's not only kids, I've been all of a sudden down the beach yes, and you have to schlep yes. all the way back. Notice he was wearing the long sleeves. If you don't want to deal with the sunscreen thing, just, if, just protect. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. It's easier, too. That's true. Kelly, uh, you know, get yes. to the top of Everest. True. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's get you to Memorial Day weekend here. I love that story. Both stories actually are fantastic. All right. So will you have a fantastic weekend this Memorial Day? A lot of weddings. My anniversary is actually coming up here. It's a popular wedding weekend because you get a long weekend, right, for your anniversary. Let's see weather-wise. We've got an outlook. This is actually looking ahead to the weekend. So this is Saturday, May 27th, going all the way through the weekend. We are expecting below average temperatures across the middle of the country, above average on either side, but nobody will have a big heat wave. I mean, this is not the heat that we saw this past weekend on the West Coast. It's not going to be the heat that we saw last week in the Northeast here. It's a different pattern setting up. So what's happening first is we look at today. And again, keep an eye on the top here that's where we have the date so you get a feel for when this is all happening so today we're going to be watching this big upper level low the main focus it helps drive down some cooler air temperatures go below average for a couple of days from the great lakes to the southeast so much so that you put on a jacket i mean you forget that it's late may for a couple of days it'll be that chilly temperatures only in the 60s and 70s and then that moves up here into northeastern canada by the time we get into sunday there is another one but this hangs out right here across the northern plains and the rockies so then we start warming up across the east. We start warming up across the west as well. So temperatures start going back up again. How does that play out with precip, right? Rainfall matters big time for Memorial Day weekend. So we start on your Friday. This might affect your drive. This might affect your plans for outdoor picnics. You might need to clean out your garage, your place in your house if you got to move everyone inside. And that might be the case on Saturday. Now this is a week out. So there's certainly the possibility that it will change. Don't deal with specifics here, but just look at you know the fact that there's the chance for some showers getting into the Missouri Valley, the Mississippi Valley. Sunday, we look at the Ohio Valley. And yes, Indianapolis gets into that. The Northeast, late in the day on Sunday, we get some showers coming your way as we track that system up and then in the south there'll be some scattered showers coming your way across the southern plains getting into Monday but there's no big storm system that we're tracking right now so that that's the good news now the bad news is that there is a chance for rain right across Missouri Illinois Indiana into you know much of uh, Kentucky and Ohio has some rain chances on Saturday further south it should be dry Miami we do have the chance for some rain I think Florida we're pretty much returning to Florida like weather by hand by then we'll have humidity temperatures upper 80s low 90s, you know the drill. It'll feel like Florida if that's where you're going this weekend. Now, Sunday's forecast, we bring in the rain chances here through the southeast. We'll see that up into the northeast for parts of Sunday. In the west, we do start to heat up, and Phoenix, we go to 99 on your Sunday. Monday, it could hit triple digits. 102 would be the forecast there. Seattle, we're back to the upper 70s. But for everyone else, it's pretty much average. We've got a lot of average temperatures looking ahead to your Memorial Day Monday. So not untypical for the end of May. For Washington, D.C., we've got to look at your forecast here. A lot of events on Monday itself, 81 degrees, partly cloudy. We keep it dry.